A popular restaurant in downtown St. Pete had many uninvited guests in the kitchen, forcing the place to shut down overnight. But in a special Dirty Dining I-Team report, we uncovered what's going on behind the restaurant, and it's something the city probably does not want you to see. Right, take a look at this here. Right. This is oh my god, an electrical. Oh, this is an electrical um, thing here with all paneling. That hole there goes down four feet deep. It's part of the city you've probably never noticed and wouldn't expect to find behind several popular restaurants on Central Avenue in downtown St. Petersburg. I've personally fallen in this thing twice already. Oh you know what I mean? So and I'm dangerous. just like, oh, it's crazy. This is the alley behind Lucky Dill Deli, and owner Joshua Cameron says he's fighting the city of St. Pete to clean up. Now, is that the city or the... Oh, uh, this is 100% the, the city. The city you know? And he says he's constantly trying to fix the mess. I've thrown other people's trash away just to try and keep the street clean. Like. But with flooding, old furniture, even toilets lining the alley, it's an attraction for rodents, which find their way into the restaurant's building. On January 2nd, inspectors shut down Lucky Dill for 21 hours after finding a dead rodent, rodent nesting materials, and over 155 rodent droppings all over. But the downside is it was actually caught in utility closets and electrical closets that actually don't belong to the business. But according to the inspection report, the rodent droppings were found under Lucky Dill's soda boxes, dry food ingredients, and near employee lockers. When this incident happened, all hell broke loose in here. You know what I mean? All hell broke loose because I've never once in 30 years of work in this industry had a violation. Still, more violations followed with French toast batter, corned beef and pastrami weeks old and all had to be thrown out. Cameron believes it might have been an outdated sticker. And I know when the sticker's gone through the washing machine that sometimes that's just a lid that has an old sticker on it but in a container which has got brand new stuff in it. Yes, should they remove that old sticker? 100%. Also, salmon, potatoes, sausage, and more, all at temperatures that could make you sick. So Cameron called for backup to retrain the employees. Out of the two other restaurants that we have, all those guys came down too to find different systems for them, just actually saying, hey, you know what I mean? Like These are things that we do in our other restaurants which are working 100%. And even with 50 violations found in January, including dead roaches and employees with no food safety training, Cameron says the public should not worry. So you feel customers are safe now? Oh, 100%. You know what I mean? Like, I've eaten here. Now I reached out to the city and spoke to Bill Logan, St. Pete's Public Works Communications Manager. Logan says they're aware of the alley issues behind Central Avenue and they're actively working with all of the business owners to help repair the deteriorating conditions. And he says it's an ongoing joint effort. Meanwhile, if you have a restaurant you want me to check out, go to my Facebook page under Wendy Ryan WFTS and let me know.